Okay, so now let's just look. We know the degrees of freedom for the treatment and the error are going to add to the total degrees of freedom. And we also know that for the treatment degrees of freedom, it will be the number of groups, that's k, minus 1. So we know right here we're going to get 3 minus 1 or 2 degrees of freedom. Well, if these sum, then that's got to be 21. And also, the sums of squares for treatment error add up to the total sum of squares. So we can just take 184 minus 126, and we'll get 58 right there. And then the mean squares are just the sum of squares for each uh, source divided by its respective degrees of freedom. So the mean square for treatment will be 29. That's just 58 divided by 2. And then we'll get 126 divided by 21, or 6. And then for our F test, we'll just take the 29 divided by 6, the mean square treatment, divided by mean square error. And that'll give us 4.83. I'll go ahead and say in this case that with 2 and 21 degrees of freedom, you'll look on your F tape, you will see that the cutoff value is 3.5. Since 4.83 is greater than 3.5, then you will reject HO. Conclude there is at least one difference between population means. A couple of other things to show you here. This 23 and 184, we've seen these before. If we had computed the variance for the entire data set, we would get Remember, take each value and subtract the mean deviations, square the deviations, and then add them up. This 184 would be the numerator in our calculations that we've been doing all semester for the variance or the standard deviation. And the degrees of freedom here is n minus 1, total sample size minus 1. So we could calculate the variance for the whole data set as being 184 divided by 23. Now that's not always reported, but in this case that would be 8. That would be the variance for the whole data set. Okay, one other thing to kind of show you here, what we have is the variation of the group means around the grand mean. If you remember the formula, remember the numerator would be Na x bar a minus x bar bar, group mean minus the grand mean, or square that and then do the same thing for every other group. So treatment is variation of group means around the gram mean. Well, we already knew total. That's vari variation of individual values, all of the individual values around the gram mean, which is just the mean of the whole data set. And then finally, Mean or the error term is talking about variation of individual values around each group mean. So within each group, you would get the difference between each x and the mean of the and the mean of that group.